Welcome to Weeping Willow Homestead. Today I have a what we eat for dinner in a week. I'm back, y'all. Woo! Um, and it's still a madhouse up in here, just so you know. But we're going to make this work. Um, so in these videos, I show you how I combine inexpensive Aldi groceries with food that we are blessed with from the food pantry and this time of year, food from the garden to make hopefully well-balanced, uh, well-rounded meals. As a family, we generally eat low carb because my husband and I do for health reasons. And as the sole cook in the house, it is easier for me to make one meal than to try to be a short order cook. But you will see variations to that and I will explain as we go. Uh, so tonight we are having our favorite brats from Aldi. Hang on, let me dig in the trash, sorry. Uh, these, the ones in the blue pack and we always get the party pack. You can get a pack of like six but we are officially party pack size. <laughs> um, so uh, we love these. These have great flavor. They're not like the most amazing clean ingredients in the earth, but um, because they do have like some corn syrup, you know, that kind of thing in it, but um, decently clean uh, for what they are. And like I said, we, do, we just think they're delicious. We went to the mobile food pantry today. You will have seen that video. Uh, where we picked up buns so normally we just do these straight on the plate um, <clears throat> but the kids uh, that want them on a bun will have them on a bun we'll do mustard ketchup I like Dijon mustard on mine and then we have sauerkraut that I've made from the cabbages from our garden so we'll do all of that as toppings we have green beans <clears throat> these are ours I just walked out and picked I need to pick either late this evening or because it's it's like heat indexes of 100 something so I either need to go out this evening and pick green beans or early in the morning before it gets hot tonight I just went out and picked like an ice cream bucket full just enough for us to have for um, dinner tonight I steam those in this pan pull the lid off and saute them in some bacon grease until I just kind of like to get them like slightly charred slightly brown and then I added in both powdered and homegrown minced garlic, um, salt, all of that. And then I just saute them just long enough for the garlic to get fragrant and delicious. And then um, on our way home from the food pantry, there was a roadside farm stand that had the most delicious looking cantaloupes ever. I don't like cantaloupe and even I thought they looked delicious. I tried a bite, they're still not delicious to me, but my kids love cantaloupe. So uh, I picked up one of those and it was just a free will donation. So I paid a couple of dollars for a really good cantaloupe. Um, worth it in my opinion and support a local uh, gardener grower. So that is Monday night's very summery looking meal. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, it is Tuesday night, and sorry if you can hear a fan going in the background because it is currently like heat index of over 100. Uh, and then it's supposed to start raining tonight and drop down the highest 77 tomorrow because, yay, uh, welcome to the Midwest and our crazy weather. Uh, we also are still having work done on our front porch. All of the support beams for our front porch were rotted out at the bottom. So uh, we are in the process of getting those fixed um, by a couple of friends of ours that are doing a good job on the cheap. So anywho, so if you hear noise in the background, that's what's going on. Hopefully you just don't hear it. All right, tonight we are having a family favorite. Literally every time we have this and I say what we're having, the kids are always like, yay! So we are having Big Mac salads. All of your normal Big Mac toppings, but on a salad. So two all beef patties, Special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun, and we add bacon because why not? Um, so literally that's it. You just um, make a salad with all of the normal Big Mac toppings on it, and it's a warm salad because the meat is warm, and it's delicious. It's also really good the second day. Uh, so um, we always, I always double the sauce recipe. I will put the original one um, amount sauce recipe in the show notes um, it's super easy and you probably have all the ingredients on hand because it's just like mayo mustard ketchup um, dill pickle relish which I just cut up dill pickles like that's what that is is just cut up dill pickles um, and then a couple of seasonings some vinegar so like generally things people have on hand Ugh, the flies this time of year uh, so yeah all right that is a quick and easy 
nice, once again, summery um, meal for the last day before we hit a nice cooler streak. So ready. We'll see you tomorrow. It is Wednesday night, and this is a way fancier meal than we normally have on a Wednesday night, but last Saturday, I usually make big meals on Saturday. Last Saturday, I had pulled this chicken out um, to cook, and I just did not feel like cooking a big chicken, a big meal at all. We ended up having hot dogs and, like, simple sides out at the campfire kind of thing, um, at our backyard fire. So um, this needed cooked. So I roasted this with some onions in the pan. I did some roasted sweet potatoes that I just added some seasoning to and then did some fried cabbage with doctored up with cheese and bacon on top to get my kids to eat it because my kids aren't big fried cabbage fans. I love fried cabbage. My favorite way is in the morning I will make fried cabbage and scrambled eggs with cheese and it's so good like that. So and yeah canning happened. Uh, green beans yesterday no today today and then um, our apple trees have started to drop some decent apples so I just canned up some like apples and they kind of disintegrate and I just use them in um, like baked goods so yeah like cobbler that kind of thing so all right anyway that is Wednesday night we'll see you tomorrow it is Thursday night, and tonight we are having my kids' favorite meal ever, breakfast for dinner. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Um, so we have our scrambled eggs, and the majority of these were, if you have chickens, you know, they like to lay in strange places instead of the provided nesting boxes. So we found a clutch, which is just a large collection of eggs, in a random place in the grass where they had like a nice little hole and they had been laying eggs. So we had no idea how old they were. So uh, when that happens, I crack each egg individually into a cup, give it a very good visual and sniff test to make sure it's okay. Um, and they were all good. So woohoo, we got to save. There was probably 10 to 15 eggs in that hole. Mm-hmm, naughty chickens. So just scrambled those in the same pan that I cooked the sausage in so it picks up all of the flavor from the sausage off the bottom. And then I sprinkled on some extra sharp cheddar cheese. One of you guys a long time ago recommended that on getting the extra sharp cheddar cheese because then you can use a little bit less cheese because it's more flavorful. Uh, with that is a pound of the bulk sausage, uh, ground sausage meat from Aldi that I made into patties. And then the kids requested a cobbler or a crisp. So um, we had some peaches that were starting to get soft in the refrigerator. So I pulled those out and made a peach crisp um, just with those soft peaches. And that looks and smells amazing. So, uh, if you are new here, generally this meal is not something that I choose to eat, uh, because I have eggs for breakfast pretty much every morning. Um, and so the idea of eating eggs again, eh, just doesn't really sound great. So, um, I will, I'm planning on just getting out some leftovers and having leftovers from the fridge. So that's fine with me. All right. That is Thursday night. We'll see you tomorrow. It is Friday night, and Friday night at our house means pizza night. Sometimes that's store-bought, sometimes it's homemade, sometimes it's a cross between the two. It's pretty much never takeout because we live too far out in the country for takeout to be delivered. And I can make a whole lot of from-scratch pizzas or frozen pizzas for way cheaper uh, and in about the same amount of time. So we just don't do it. So tonight is a homemade pizza. I used my um, pizza dough recipe, and I will try to remember to put post that recipe in the show notes um made it and made three pizzas with it tonight there is a barbecue chicken because we had that leftover chicken from the other night a pepperoni and a cheese and then with that we have um green beans and this time I added Italian seasoning and some parmesan cheese to them uh, after I got done cooking them so my kids by the end of summer are absolutely sick of pizza or sorry, I'm sick of um, green beans. They never get sick of pizza. Uh, but, so I try to, to fix it different ways. Um, tonight is also the one night a week that we do dessert. Oh, for me, I have chicken wings in the air fryer, and I will do green beans with it. Uh, tonight is also the one night a week that we do dessert, 
and um, I had a lovely friend bring me over peaches from their tree. Uh, they are small and buggy, but delicious, uh, worth cutting around the bugs. So uh, the ones that were already ripe, I was able to get seven pints, um, which is a canner full. And then I have um, probably another pint and a half or so that I didn't want to run the canner again. So those are in the fridge with some um, sugar on them, macerating, I believe is what that's called. And then I have um, shortcake biscuits in the oven. So we're going to do peach shortcake, well the kids will, for dessert. Um, so yeah, alright, that is Friday night, we'll see you tomorrow. It is Saturday night, and Saturday nights I usually make a big meal, uh, and I'll explain why here in just a minute. So tonight we did a pot roast in the crock pot. This one is really tough. I don't know whether it was just the the type of roast that it was or what, but it is not folly a party. So I may get some complaints from the kids on that one, but they generally don't like when the meat is chewy. But, you know, can't win them all. Uh, in the bottom of the crock pot, I put four carrots that we had grown in our garden, some onions, and then some pepperoncinis, and kind of did like the Mississippi pot roast. I did not have the gravy mix, but I did put a, um, ranch seasoning in there, so, you know, good enough. Um, it'll taste good anyway. Uh, and then we've got what I grew up with called parsley potatoes. It's literally just potatoes boiled, salt, uh, butter, and dried parsley. It is nothing special, but for some reason, it's one of those comfort, like, growing up foods, you know, that, that just tastes good. So, a super simple one, too. Um, and, yeah, you can make it really fast. Uh, and then we're also going to have a, a side salad. I've just got romaine lettuce cut up and pull them out some toppings and made some honey mustard. So, yeah, quick and easy. Uh, if you are new here, this is the end of our week of meals. On a Sunday, I don't cook. I also don't clean. I spend all day Saturday cleaning the whole house, folding the laundry, washing the dishes, um, like setting out clothes for church in the morning, everything that I can do so that on Sunday it's as relaxed and easy as it can be getting five kids to church, you know. But um, so tomorrow when we get home from church, I will pull out whatever leftovers there are and um the kids get to pick and choose whatever they want. So if they want three meats, fine. If they want nothing but potatoes, fine. It is about getting the leftovers used and it's still all good home cooked meals. So, you know, uh, and then tomorrow for dinner, we do charcuterie board essentially. So I pull out everything that you would normally see on a charcuterie board, um, dried fruits, cured meats, cheese, uh, chips, pickles, chocolate, um, goat cheese, crackers, anything like that. And I lay it all out on the counter and I even bust out paper plates for that meal. And um, the kids get to once again pick and choose whatever they want. And so it makes for a day of mom having the day off from cooking. My kids generally make their own breakfasts. I help the youngest too, um, but uh, they're pretty self-sufficient on that. So um, that allows me to, a lot of times I, st are st I will start getting dressed and ready for church while everybody else is eating finishing up eating breakfast and then I start getting kids ready. So, um, yeah, that is everything. I will post any relevant recipes in the show notes. If you have any questions about anything that I have made, please let me know and I will be glad to explain it to you. Look at me getting back in the swing of things. We'll see whether it sticks. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you so much for watching this. I hope you have a great day. Goodbye and God bless.